In a previous four-part video series, I showed you how to make a quiz using Google Form. From that quiz, whenever you're ready to distribute it to your students, there's two basic ways to give the quiz. One is to embed the quiz on your web page or blog. The other way is to provide a link for your students to take the quiz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to provide the link to students in multiple different ways so that they can take the quiz. The first thing that you need is the link. So whenever you click on your quiz, underneath form, choose go to live form. When you go to the live form, you now have the link that students will need to take the quiz. Click on the link, right click, copy, and you now have the web address. You can close that out. So to distribute your quiz, I'm going to show you three different methods. The first is through email. In your email, whoever you're going to send the quiz to, you can simply type, here is the sample quiz. Then you can select the text that you want to contain the link. At the bottom of your email, you have some formatting options. When you move your mouse over the attach option, some other options appear to the right. One of those will show a chain link, which allows you to insert a link. The link will be inserted over the highlighted text. So I click insert link, a box appears, it's going to a web address, and I paste that in. This was the web address to the link for the students to take the quiz. I choose OK, and when I hit send, the quiz will be emailed out to all the recipients in the email address. As a student, when I check my email, I have the sample quiz link. Here is the sample quiz, and it takes me to the quiz. Option number two is to use your blog. Whenever you have your blog and you're ready for the quiz, you again type the text that you want, select the text, and choose the link button. Paste in the link. I generally have it open in a new window so students don't lose the blog. Add the link. And then when students view your blog, they will have a link to click that says here is the sample quiz. They click on it, and it takes them to the quiz. Finally, the third method is to put the quiz on your website. You can use the exact same procedure. I type in what I wanted to say, select the text, add a link, and say that the link is from a web address. Again, I like to open the link in a new window. As a student, when I go to the page, I can click on here is the sample quiz, and the quiz will load for me. These are three different methods for distributing your sample quiz that you have made through email, your blog, and on a website. If you have any questions, please be sure and ask.